most women start a business? Is it passion, money, or freedom? Welcome to Female Founders, the podcast that takes you behind the scene with women who are founders and CEOs to help you start and scale a successful business of your own. I am your host, Nagelia de Ravine. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Female Founders. In this episode, we are going to have a conversation with another great female founder, Joy Vanishkun, a former supermodel from Thailand, a wellness expert and founder and CEO of Wellness of Joy, and heart math trainer. For Moment Magazine issue number 55, we had the pleasure of featuring Joy on the cover and discussing her life experience as a supermodel and starting Zens of Joy Spa at a young age. So I am super excited about this conversation and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get started. Good morning, Joy. A pleasure to have this conversation with you today. Wow. I, I just, when I read about you, it's just so amazing. It's like, can I have your life? <laughs> so you, you were born from a, a meditation family in Thailand and now lives in the United States. And you are bringing that same wellness balance to other people's life here in the U.S. So can you tell us about your journey growing up as a child in Thailand? Yes, uh, I was born in Bangkok. You know, it's just like the, um, the city of, and that time it's just very still quiet and um luckily that i just chewed to land it in my mother <laughs> tell me so like her 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 family is a whole family just um all meditator you know that's why like i spent all my childhood with my grandmother and which is her mother is is also the nun for all her life and live in the temple so every time I remember when I was young, when I visited my great grandmother, I remember the feeling, you know, just like the feeling when I meet her. It's just something that is just right into my heart. The way that she's so kind, and then she was just doing the chanting every day. Um, um, that's his nun um, activities. And I remember that her voice is just like the music in my ears, and I love so much to go. But to see her, I don't really know why. She lives just about like uh, one hour at that temple from Bangkok. So every time I went there, I feel that my heart did fall. And then I'm so lucky that my, my grandmother, because I'm the youngest one, my grandmother just like taking, um, my mom has us when she was very young in her 20s. So my, my grandmother just like taking good care of me mostly when I was just about from, from the birth until uh, grade four. So I remember I uh, go I went with her everywhere. She just went into the temple. I, I I was just have the opportunity to just stay at the temple, be with all the monks, and learn about the meditation at that young age. And I remember that like because of she loved to do meditation. So I sit there sometimes. We, we stay over for a few days, and that is the like my life is all about. Just like play, meditate, and then just chanting. And later on, when I, um, my mother um, my, and my parents divorced since uh, we were very young, and then later on we came um, and stayed together. Like my brother, my sister went to stay with my, with my father, but I'm with my grandmother. So later on, my mom just having her life together, and then like she able to to manage to take care of us. So she take all of us. We with her when I was about uh, grade five. And that is the time that um, I really start to to learn about like how to adjust into the new life because my mom lived in the very city, and but she also loved to do meditation. I remember like she took all of us to the to the biggest temple in Thailand, which is I still I learning everything from the Grace Master, which is so great about meditation again. That's in my life is going through that way, so we 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 able to just sit there all of us meditating. And my mom is very strict, you know, she just like, before we go, uh, we went to bed, all of us have to lie up, three of us together, and her, and meditating or chanting, like, for an hour every single day. And I remember, like, wow. at that time, like, wow, like, I, I want to sneak out, like, my brother and sister want to sneak out, but we couldn't because of my mom to put that right into the middle of our hallway, and we can't go to sleep without that. But 
but I think like with that practice, you know, I feel that later on I become um, um, a model and I just get in on top to become a Thailand top teenager model and then top supermodel at a very short time. And I remember that every time when I having challenges, you know, teenager work, because I grew up so fast. It's like I started off when I was 16. And it's all responsible, you know, like you you work like a real work, even modeling, but you have responsible at a young age. And when I have challenge, I feel that my friend go out and out and drinking and do all those like teenager, you know. But I always like every time when I have the big, big, big thing in my in my in my body, I always like went to the temple and just try to, to just calm down myself that way. When I feel better, I went out and, and just play like other teenager. <laughs> it's the same thing. But when I have the challenge, I always turn out to be inward, to do my work, inner work. And I don't really understand that. You know, I feel like, okay, here comes the time. I already earned my money and my mother not like be able, um, I pay for my own education. So um, I was just thinking that I'm going to leave the other life. But because of that strong foundation I have, it's just helping me so much in my career. And, and, and after that, I just get full on to be um, in, in the Thailand um, entertainment. I, I uh, do films, I do television, but mo- majority of my work is in the fashion business. I on the, all the cover of the magazine, I travel everywhere around the world. I you know I enjoy those life. But I feel that the thing I feel that I'm different inside, just like I always have this calmness to come back to. And then later on, after that, my modeling career, um, during that time, I always feel that I am a businesswoman. You know, I, I just think that like I always told everybody that modeling is a is a hobby and uh and it's a hobby, but it's just like, it's really making me a lot of money. <laughs> it's not a hobby. I pretend it's a hobby. So when I was young, I just went into doing stock market, do pretending I'm like, you know, the broker in the, in the, in New York, just like making a lot of money, pretending in my brain and read all the research and do all those kind of money things, which I dream about to be like another you know, real businesswoman. And I was just fortunate enough at starting my own uh, spa. Uh, and uh, wellness center, and it just like you know got the very successful return on my investment since like after six months. So then I opened another six center, medical center, and also um, the product company, three product company, import, export, and also um, producing products, sell all over Thailand. That is a, like a long story shot. <laughs> Long story in a, in a five minute. I hope that like I answered your question. <laughs> yes, you did. That's amazing, Jai. It's um, it's always take one person in the family to create that path that we need to keep on going in life. Um, if, even when you change, you, I, I will say you didn't change, but you go to modeling, but you still use that the things that you learn with your grandmother and continue with your mom, you still continue using them. You use them as a way to make your life better, which is awesome. Yeah. But a question that I have for you, how did you get into modeling? Well, I was read, uh, I was discover. I was in the school, you know, like in the grade, I remember that around grade 10, um, no, grade 11. And then I was walking in the very famous department store with the uniform. And then uh, one of the great um, makeup artists just found me and you know, I'm very tall. And that time it just different look, very tall, very Asian look. It's kind of like new trend that nobody has. Nobody look like that and tall. So he put me right away into the um, uh, biggest fashion show of the like old couture, like high fashion designer in Thailand. And that time it's just like, I'm able to just get my first job walking like for Chanel, can say like that, in the, my first job at that very young age. So um, after that, I just get on. When people saw me the first time, I just get on all the cover of the magazine. And, you know, in Thailand that time, in modern, like, celebrities. And people know, and people just, like, 
remember right away because all the young girls want to be want to be like a model and and a model just kind of like a role model for that so i remembered like i have to uh, wear all my uniform to go to school and all these fashion people have to come and 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 taking me from school and I couldn't escape school. So they drive the car to go there. I have to go in the back of the trunk, set it in the trunk and they drop out so I can go to work. So like my my high school life is all, all like that. And they're all still talking to now we're still friends. And you remember that I have to just like kidnap you from school to just go for the photo shoot. <laughs> so that, this is kind of like, a, you know, I think it's a destiny for me to be so lucky, fortunate to be like at the top, at, at I started. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, um, why were you always interested in into modeling, or is that something that, like you said, you just you just he just approached you like go for it? You know, at that time, like I think about that too. Like, did I manifested that when I learn about everything right now, right? Because I learn about uh, everything now. I think that, like, I remember at, before I got discover i remember that i was just like at that i was just looking at something and then i just imagine what it feel like to be a famous model and to wear that beautiful clothes i think i did manifest it i think i did manifest it for sure because of, i remember that oh this is looks so nice and I just want to be like that i say i didn't want to like try to fight to be like that but i just imagine it it's like in my body so i'm definitely manifesting it and i remember when i told my mom after i uh, discovered that they um want me to be in that fashion show my mom is still like are you sure i'd like is this gonna be like you know something that is provocative or something because at that time it's very conservative not that young person can be in the model so she doesn't understand that she said oh they might put your your uh cutting your your pic the like a picture or something so you no know, all kind of like bad thing but you know i i managed to to be um one of the five thailand's top supermodel in thailand and then I, my career just take off the roof from then so i think i'm very lucky i just everything it happened at the right moment so would you say that uh your mom support you throughout that career not in the beginning not in the beginning, I know she doesn't understand that. Like she, she kind of like, okay, it's good that for me to do, but it is, she doesn't really say much, but I know that she proud of me. Like when, when after that, when I getting off and she saw all my cover of the magazine, but you know, my mom is very humble, very, very kind. So she doesn't talk that much, like the old style mother, you know, like not, not really, but I'm sure she's very proud because of she on the cover, she show to her friends, you know, something like that. <laughs> of course, mom, mom always do things like that. They will always share it <laughs> when they have to. <laughs> yeah. So how was your journey as a Thailand top model? Oh, like, you know, I think my life born to that life, like really, like I learned so much, you know, I started off that young, 16, 17, and, and my life's changing from, from the high school to, to, to that right away. And that time when we have to do all the fashion show in the, in the five-star hotel all the time. And, you know, I get used to that luxury life. And that very young age, having the so much money, like one fashion show one day, we got pay as much as all the people working for the whole month in Thailand. You know, like that is very young. It's very powerful. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I'm just having fun with all my friends and, and you know, we are around the same age or um, I'm a little bit older than them or younger than them. But it's just having fun. It's just like every day, like we have almost fashion show almost every day or the shoot and everything. But we like family, you know, like when we go there, we play together. And mostly the appointment is just like 10 o'clock in, in the morning and then the fashion show is late at night. So we spend a whole day lying down in the suite and lying down and just play and, and have so much fun, you know, you kind of friend. I'm still friend with them until now. We just have so many memories together. We travel together everywhere. We went everywhere together, all over Thailand and then abroad too, because sometimes, you know, we have to go to Italy 
Paris to do fashion show. And it's just like sometimes I went for the fashion photo shoot. And it's kind of like, I think it's a dream life for the young person. But what I got from it is, is all the relationship that I have, you know, the way that I can, con- I'm, very, I'm very confident to talk to people like that older than me, right? I learned so much from them. And especially like in that top of the group, fashion show is just for, you know, you have to say this for the people to do that time in haute couture or high fashion, you have to be the people who are quite like top of the society. So I come from the middle middle class family. So I be able to that understand Oh, what it look like for these people? How do they live their life, and how do they um, find things in life? So I kind of pick and shoot what I like at a young age to be my role model to what I learn, and I learn so much. I'm very good at you know at learning and pick and choose, and I feel like that I learn so many things from variety of people that surround me all the time. And then all the this production, the big production, I learn how to be disciplined. I learn how to be respectful to the older. I learn how to be respectful to industry. I have to become on time. So I learned so many things that I think is just such a skill in life. That's why I think that I can do what I can do now and I have confidence because of I have that foundation. Absolutely. So at a young age, having such so much power because Believe it or not, people, uh, well, people always say that too, uh, money is power. So you're making great money, you're traveling the world, you're meeting uh, famous people. You are living a life that most people dream of for their entire life and never really get to even accomplish 0.001% of it. So you get to do that in a very young age. And that's powerful. How did you handle that? You know, I'm... I'm so, I think I'm very, very lucky that I born in the family of, with my mother, you know, she's very humble and she never talk anything. Even I'm get become famous. She never go out and show, show off that I have this daughter like this. So I get like from, from the generation, my grandmother is the same, my great grandmother, the same and kindness and compassion, which I love. And I, I adopt that into, into my own self. And I never feel that way, you know. I see that life at that time, it's just like colorful. You know, it's a part of life. And, and it's just color. I love like to think it's like life is it's like a movie. You know, when I walk out wearing the Chanel, I feel like, okay, I represent Chanel. It's not me. It, it's a brand. And then I love that when I'm getting out um, to do that, I become an, uh, that person. And, you know, when before we get out on the fashion show, they have to brief us like, oh, this is what's going to be the theme. I want you to be like this. I want you to be strong. I want you to be feminine. And I feel like every day I change, you know, to become of the other person. And it's the same thing at the same time when I at the backstage, like I have 10 people coming around, putting on the, uh, on the clothes, everything to me. And I feel at that moment, I have to be very still. You know, I have to be very still. That is how that I cultivate my own practice meditation since I was young and to be that. And then I just play the role of whatever I am going to be today. I never stick that that is me. I know what it truly me inside is a person who just like see, try to be calm, you know, try to that at peace moment. It just, it's just something that I know since I was young that there is something that, that, that greater than me and away from me and that I don't know what it is and I keep on chasing it, curiosity. That's why you know, I never stop, you know, since that then and then that all that fame, everything doesn't affect me. I, I live with it, I'm enjoying it, but it doesn't represent of who I am. I totally understand what you mean. I guess uh, growing up with uh, your grandmother and your mom, uh, meditation and things like that, that's, I guess, a very big plus <laughs> for you to be able to handle yourself like that at a young age. Not everyone can do that. But now, what changes come for you to being a top model to change to being a wellness coach? So what make you make that shift? Mm-hmm. I always love to learn and I feel that like during the time that I work, I don't have time. I work every day. You know, I work every day. I'm very, um, I'm 
since and then I have my business. You know, I open my studio. I'm so busy every day. So one thing that is um, inside of me, I love to learn. I love to buy books. I love to read books or just buy books. I have it, everywhere I travel, I have two, three books with me. Even I don't read it, but I feel like my safety blanket. I love to learn. And I want to, one thing that I just really want to do and I never have a chance is just like to be graduated um, in the university um, here as uh, in, the, in the PhD. You know, I dream about that. So when I came here about eight years ago, I just started dive deep dive into all the learning that I didn't have a chance when I was in Thailand. So I, I, I the first thing I did is just I went to um, to the yoga school. I found my teacher, uh, Annie Carpenter, which I love her dearly. So I she was just kind of like very very um, tough, but it's just like her teaching is so powerful, called my flow. So I went to study with her. From uh, to be a teacher, um, from the from the start and to graduate everything. But my intention, I didn't want to teach. You know, I I just I just want to learn. I want to learn and, and sharpen my practice. But I um, I promised her like when when I graduate two hundred hours, she's like Joy, when you're gonna teach? And then I'm just like okay, how can I postpone that? I don't want to teach. I said okay, when I graduate, I like five hundred hours, like on the top. So I keep. On doing that for thousands of hours, I graduate of everything. So I, I keep my promise, you know. I after that I graduate with her. So I have to teach. I graduate everything that she teach, right? I have to teach. So then at the time that I also keep on my meditation, I volunteer um, of the teaching meditation. I also um, the board of director of the school. So when I doing that, I just start my teaching first time uh, about almost six years ago at the school called Tree Academy. And I started, uh, co-founded the program. I brought the monk of my teacher who were teaching me meditation, who uh, come here to create a program called Inner, Life, Inner Peace Life Education to teach a student about how to bring the inner peace, um, just uh, to live life with inner peace and to bring in a world peace true inner peace. So we have all the curriculum um, setting up. And that time, and the first teacher, like, you know, he, um, my um, monk teacher just looked like, who gonna teach? Like, okay, Joy, let's Joy teach. <laughs> so I'm the first volunteer to teach with another co-teacher. And I'm also the director of the program. And then the program just get hit off so fast within one first semester. And, and getting very, very popular among the students because we are the first uh, school to have it as the core curriculum, same like language art, same like math. Every student have to learn meditation and yoga. So I grew, uh, we grew our team to be more and more and more teacher. We start from four classes a week to 81 classes, no, 86 classes per month now. And it's going to grow more and more. So that's what's something that I'm proud of is my passion, you know, to just teach all this middle and high school student how to be bring the peace to, to, their, to their heart. And then I have the test of become a teacher. And then the COVID hit. And I, I remember that I went to train again, not nonstop learning from me. I trained at hypnotherapist. And then I went to an uh, important school called Heart Math Institute to study about the heart intelligence and to bring, it's kind of like to bring this technique to teach to anybody. They don't need to be in meditative. There are people who can even meditate, can do this and get the similar result. So I want to bring that science to the people who can meditate and to bring it to my student. And it come at the right time. I did it before COVID hit. And after the COVID, I just start to realize like, I also enroll in the quantum university in the US, uh, in the PhD program at Integrative Medicine. So I'm like, I think I have so much information in me, so much experience from my becoming the entrepreneur in my beauty time as a, as a, as a model to, to learn about all of those things. And now I have the, the knowledge about meditation, teaching meditation and the quantum physics and the, all the science. So I think that I can't just, and yoga, and I, can, I think I can't keep it just for myself. You know, I see the suffering that people have to go through. And then I just thinking that it's time for me to really 
you know, sharing it to the world. So I just start my um, LinkedIn. Actually, I didn't have people that might follow because I never used LinkedIn from like 10 people and grew up to like almost 10,000 people within the, in the short time to just sharing. And people start to inbox me to want to have one-on-one -on -one with me. So I went to one-on-one -on -one with them and I got to invite it to for the business um, business um, business consultant to be part of the team to do the give out the well-being consultant to to give them the advice because um, because he think that um, when people come into uh, having the uh, challenge with their business you know they come to see I think for the how can they make more money or how can they get through all those mechanic stuff but actually the challenge is not only the mechanic in the business the root cause is come from the inside. They don't feel good. They're stressed. You know, they can't sleep and they feel um, overwhelming. They feel like everything coming at them and they can't handle it anymore. So the root cause is not the business business. The root cause is the, a person. So he coming and use and uh, helping, uh, letting me to be part of the team. So I just start to give advice on on that part. But because of I have the background in business, so I understand these people. I understand them well. That how do they feel? You know when they have to get to those emotion and struggle, and I know because I'm one of them before too. But I have the better tools now. So I start to give advice. I start to just reach out to more CEO. And I have more clients who are CEO, who are the leaders, and also women professional lawyers, and just coming and, and asking, and I can help them. So that is how it started. <laughs> so pretty much <laughs> it's pretty much walking away from your modeling uh career is to be able to educate yourself better and at the same time creating something that can help other people as well. Yeah, I think like, you know, I try to think all the time, like, you know, after this, like, why I have so much of this great opportunity in my life? And I think it had to be some good reason, you know? I don't have all this, because sometimes when I start to, I don't even share my story before in the beginning because I think that it's too much to understand how can one life can accept this. I don't talking from the ego point of, of, of not from the ego point. I'm talking for about like I'm I'm thinking about that every day. Like how can I use my skill and experiences that I haven't I have been so gifted to me at this lifetime to help other people. And, and I was just thinking like, what can I be in this, in this world to be able to do my job? And what can I fit the most, you know, to be able to help? I think it's a major part of me that I came into the industry of the high fashion and understand how to, how to understand, you know, to like, I can get ready to be on the red carpet within half an hour. I can do that. <laughs> I know how to do that. We have to do things very fast. But I also know because of my practice and meditation, which is left and right, I can do like going deep in meditation. I'm very dedicated meditator. I meditate every day at least two, three hours. So I want to bring all of this, you know, element, which I know now. This is just have to be everything together. You know, I feel that I want to be able to teach all of this. You know, I see so many, many people who, who doesn't, um, have self-confidence, you know, and or or because of the self-confidence is that men and women actually, not only women, but you know, of course, like you know, women can can say that more, but men also have that, and because of the way they perceive their self-image, it start from the root cause there, you know, the one that they see themselves. I be with so many girlfriends, they look like angel, they face everything, they look so great, but they don't. She, she doesn't feel that inside. When she look in the mirror, she, she look like somebody else. She, look, she see the wrinkle. She see the imperfection that she has. But in the whole world, to say that, oh, you are so gorgeous. You're so beautiful. 
But that person inside never accept that, can accept that. It's come from the root cause of so many things, come from childhood. It come from a family. It's come from the perception of, of the people environment around her. So I want to be able to help, you know, to be able to, to bring that, because I understand that, to, to bring that woman or that person to rise up, to accept them. It's not about the external look only. You know, sometimes when you feel that when you meet someone, they look okay, you know, cleaning face, but they have something in them that is just so, like, drawing you towards them, you know, right? They have kind of, like, this power. Because it's come from here. And then it's shying out. And I think everybody, if you know the technique, the tools, and the fact, and the knowledge, we all can reach there. Yeah, we all can be the best that we can be. And you are right. A lot of women suffer from that. That I'm not good enough. Um, I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not smart enough. It's, it's an issue that we need to... We need people like you <laughs> to actually say, no, you are good enough. You are beautiful and you are smart. You are you. God create you exactly the way you're supposed to be. So you're perfect just the way you are. Yes. And in, in, the, in the process, you know, I see so many people start off with beautiful face, but so like no radiant, right? Or the people that um, um, have the beautiful um good looking and then after the time of the transformation when they start to uh adapting all of the two and belief system and the system change and transformation and the change in themselves everything change everything change they look change that you feel like you feel it you know when you look inside in the mirror you feel that you change you're not the same person and you feel more beautiful you feel right you know you feel right where you're supposed to be and you also feel that you can do anything you can conquer the world if you want to you feel connected with yourself yes that's a, that is the first thing that we all have to start it from there you know people are just like living so outside so much bringing to here i have so many clients <clears throat> you cannot even close my, their eyes to meditate it's a scary place for, for many people, you know, to be with themselves. They have to find something occupied to do things all the time. So that is that is many things that we have to really um, start to practice. And it's just some um, of the very easy techniques just connect to, to their beautiful heart. And that is where it can start. And that is very powerful. Yes, absolutely. So you are... You have, well, you have so many certifications and I don't even know where to start. It's a lot of them. <laughs> you, guys, you have certified children yoga teacher, uh, yoga instructor, meditation instructor, middle, middle way meditation institute. You are a part of them. But the biggest one is that you are pursuing a PhD in natural science. Why natural science? You know, when I start to do that, like I still, I still like, you know, didn't have time to go full in that yet. When I started to do that, I was just thinking like, okay, I have so much of experience already. I did spa, I did beauty. And I was just thinking, okay. And then one time I was have the medical spa. I have to rely on the doctor. And you know, when you're doing rely on someone to do something, it's not, it's not what everything that you wish for, right? And and it's sort harder, harder business that I did it then. I was just thinking like, okay, I'm gonna retire. That's it for my retirement plan. Just having my own center by the beach somewhere and I'm I'm doing my own thing. That was my purpose then. I don't know, like now, you know, I don't I used to want love to plan so much. And now I don't plan anymore. I, I just trust, you know. I trust in where I am right now is the best at where I am. And I trust it. And I, now I'm with you, you know, talking to to the woman. And then how can I how can I really contribute that to 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 the to the communities? How can I bring what I know to teach other women? 
and and from my sincere heart that I can I want I want to get the result. I don't want to just come and talking about I know because I learn so much. It's not don't get me wrong. I learn so much just for me because I know that you know that I'm curious. I want to know everything. But one thing that I know is everything is all related. Everything is just they use a different language in science, but in those spiritual is this another language. They're all the same thing. And my curious mind want gonna be to be quiet if I don't know the truth. I searching for the truth for me, and then one day I know the truth. I have my confidence. I I can teach you from my 30 year, 40 year of learning. I want to make it. I want to make it so so easy and simple. But I have to know everything first. If not, I don't know. I can't translate or transcribe into the easy language. You know, I want to teach people how to get into the spiritual world, like they're driving the car. Okay, well, first you just like pick up the key, walk into the door, open open the door, and just start. I want to teach people like that, just to get into outside of them, and I and that can be that easy, really. After learn all of this, it can be that easy, but you just need need to understand everything first. I think first they need someone like you. Seriously, I don't know how I can get to the driving my car. I don't know how I can get anywhere else other than driving the car. Yes. <laughs> I'll be in the mug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to invite you to my workshop. You know, it's just come and me and all the women come and see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want you to experience the bliss that we eat inside of ourselves. I'm not doing anything. I just give you the key. Here is the key. Here how to do it. I give you all the instruction and you are the one who get into that beautiful car and just ride on at your own speed, anywhere you want. It's your own handle. You handle it with my help, with my all of these 30 years of my learning and then just put it to you in the package. You know, I, I want to make everything easy. I don't think that people are going to have so much time like me to just all curious to learn because we are good at something and support each other. You know, like you are supporting women in business. And I know this is my lane. This is my part that I'm curious, that i passionate about. It's give me energy. But not everybody have to do the same thing. That's why we are doing the different thing. This is my part that I want to be able to help people to feel that total bliss. And you feel that, you know, you feel happy and you don't need anything else. Absolutely. And talking about that and to do all of these things you want to do, helping people um, get into that spiritual world and then be able to meditate the proper way. There is something behind it all. And what is the idea behind wellness of joy? I create this, um, actually, meditation is just only the tools, you know, that, that we use to get accelerate into the transformation change. But the things is for me is like, I want to bring people's life back to joy. I feel that there is lack of joy in this world. And we have to, we, we concentrate too much into other things. But we, we, if we focus to the joy, our life can create the whole change. The way we look at things, everything going to change. We, we do everything from joy. We look everything from, from the full. We do everything from, from happiness, you know. And we can do all kinds of things that evolve to bring us into this coherent or joy much better. You know, we don't need to, like, people just, like, working so hard, and then, like, you know, they have to lose everything. Sometimes losing everybody, their love, their career, their health, you know, like everybody to work in their 60s. Now their health is declining. They're not good because they're dragging themselves to be success. And you know that it's like they have a lot of mark in that victory. And then later on, like, they have to fix themselves. Either they fix their relationship, they fix their, um, they fix their health, they fix their mind, they all of that. But I want to tell you that if we know that we can bring all of this together, we can go faster. You don't need to take one thing. You know, I create life with joy to be in, able to balance all six initiatives, body, my emotion, 
relationship and work. Do I miss something? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I have said everything. And 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 po- big part of it emotion and work. You know, we have to balance them together and take off at the same time. But joy, I know I say joy in the word of like the common word. It could be fulfillment. It could be um, coherent. It could be success. It could be any kind of word that you want to achieve. But the, the, the important thing is we reach into this joy and happiness and success with the wholeness approach. You know, we can take care of ourselves by the time we success in, in, in doing work too. We, we can be unbalanced. When we know that we are of balance, we're using our willpower to do the work and to train our mind, our, our spirit back. Or we're using our emotion. We have to learn about what, what, what emotion is affecting us. You know, because of we are leading the energy. We have to be able to know how can be intelligent energy management, right? It's everything about energy. It's everybody coming at you. You are the CEO. You are the boss. You are working. Everybody, you are the mother, right? Everybody wants your time and how you're going to do it. And you have to learn how to decrease all the unimportant emotion because that is just like a leak of your energy, your life, your prana, right? Right. And that is, and you have to know how to un, how to plug that, and not only plug that thing. You need to know how to feel in the good energy, feel in the good emotion to create the abundance of energy, so you can live your life. You have more energy to do everything you want. Absolutely. So a wellness of joy is another way to provide uh, all the help that people need. When it's come to meditation, uh, your I will take yoga as well, right? Yeah, I <clears throat> I plan to launch my program, which is like it's called um, the first one is called Intelligent Beauty. It's just talking about consciousness beauty. How can we bring the consciousness and beauty uh, coming together? I want to create this program just for a woman, you know, for the professional, for the leaders who are in need of to feel their own power, to return to the great self, to be confident. And you know, come from that place, you will be able to moving on into a direction. I want to bring the, um, the two worlds that, I, that I'm, I was experienced with in the, the fashion modeling world and actress, and then the spiritual world to combine together, to teach women how to take care of themselves, right, first. You look at things, when, when she takes care of themselves, just for herself, she will be able to gain the energy, confident back, and going to shy off, going to make people around you be happy. And after that, how to reach into another level, how to be able to, to create, how to be able to manifest things that, that you want in your life. And everything just about that. When you have surplus of energy, you can manifest something, you can make things happen. Everything that become that you want, it become far away from you, changing your career and 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 try to earn and to have your own space, you know, to own place, and to be before you leaving this world to fight out who you are. And it's so funny that like so many women are so well educated and just staying at home and doesn't need and doesn't use their own power, their own knowledge to be able to to shine through. You know, just hitting at the back and and having this this feeling that what if, what if, what if I do that? And I don't want to woman to to have any question before leaving this world about what if. I want to encourage women to come in front and to see herself, to live your life, to live her life. As to support to be, you know, and then we can try through that, and it can be in the in the peaceful way. It can be in the beautiful way. It doesn't need to be, to be aggressive, but My first God. of all, you have to understand that power. You know, the feminine divine feminine power. How can you create? You don't need to understand it now because everything is in the unknown. But you have to start on the journey. 
Exactly. So you got to start somewhere to get somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. To feel, at least to feel that, you know, we, we all, we, we all deserve to feel that. I would say. Absolutely. Everybody deserves to feel empowerment, to know. You know, one just to know that is power. And you can use that power into many things. Even you want to go into doing the world, just like we are doing right now, just, just talking into the world, you can. Or you're going to use that for your own community, for your own friend, for your own family. You can too. But the first spot, sparkle, is to know. And wanted to know that we have to come and in, in just like in winter together, coming together. And how can we arise to that? That is coming from within. Absolutely. So what are the key services you, prov- uh, you provide with uh, Wellness of Joy? Um, I provide a one-on-one consultant and, and one-on-one mentorship. You know, I have program that people sign up from uh, one month to 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 six months. You know, people see me. It's just like maybe we meet weekly or or maybe twice a week, or it depends on the situation and 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 the need. But within that, I have the program that helping them to go through everyday life, and that is that is that is my. I didn't take that much because I I I just want to keep it as small group. So now I create a program that I want to 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 be able because my time I don't have enough time to do this one on one. So I want to, and now, right now I create a program that is can come into the group. I want to create a community community of the women that support each other. You know to go through the journey. We really need each other. You know like to really really um, uh, inspire each other. Like I inspired by you talking to you. We need, we have all those data. We need somebody to be like accountability to know that they are sincerely. And, and especially when they are on the same path, we all learn from each other. So I want to create a community and I also like plan for the, for the workshop and retreats. You know, I want to teach a woman not only, I'm background from the spa wellness, but I don't want to create just only the re- retreat for for only the body. I want to create a retreat for the mind and the intelligent mind too. I want to be able to teach women all kinds of things, you know, to learn a new thing. Maybe it's gonna sparkle of their creative idea that there might be something that they never think of and they just think, oh, I can do that too and can take it as a new career, new path of life. You know, instead of have to work um, at for for someone, have more freedom to do a thing that is her heart calling for. So I want to create all of that and hopefully that it can happen real soon. Well, with your determination, I think it will happen very, very soon. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. So uh, do you offer customized planes for each client? Yes, yes. I I customize um, all the... for one on one, well, when they come to me, they they uh, first I just I would say like fifteen minutes consultation, but we never stay fifteen minutes, you know, to know someone life. <laughs> we never, we always go over, and I won't stop until I know them. I I I'm taking uh, my job very seriously, you know, something that because I think I'm I'm taking care of people's life. I need to know them before I can take them. If I can help them, I will really want to know everything but if it can't help them i will tell them like okay this is i can't help you you i can recommend you to somebody that i know that can help you but i i taking that consultation like very mindful i listen to everything they say and after that uh, i'm gonna meet them and come out with a plan because people coming into me with different kinds of things and then i have many tools and techniques that have helped them so within a short time, we'll be able to access to make them feel good. At least, you know, it's kind of like pampering. You know, some people come on like battle, like stress, it's too stress, 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 and can't think anymore. The first thing I just make them into become in a very good state, you know, and they will take some time to go there. And then after that, when they're really becoming okay, and now like, the creative, if they can kick on, kick in, and if they 
if they can um, keep on the um, discipline. It's just like I can guide, but you know they have to do all the tools technique that, they, that I give them. If they, some people can do it very well, some people not do it very well. But you know everything takes time. So I give tool and technique, and then we come on a journey of to of to rediscovery a new thing together. You know co-creation. I can't do without without them. I didn't. I didn't um, start. I put them into their their own intelligent self so they can use that to guide them you know for to know that what they should do next i really don't want them people to be with me too long you know i wish that they can go out on their own very soon because i know to be able to to get it in their intuitive intuition but you know, with us together, like for me, I, it takes me years and years to learn all of this. You know, I'm still learning. I'm still learning everything. But I really want the people to really come and start something. And, and yeah, with, with this, that's why I learned so much. And I learned many kind of meditation because I know that one technique is, doesn't fit to one person. We all different. Absolutely. Every single one of us. So... What is life with uh with joy mastery? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Life with joy mastery is the foundation of everything that I teach. Is uh contained with the uh, um uh, to bring people life in balance, happiness, and stress free by using the method of the ancient Eastern knowledge and the Western science um approach that I'm learning. So it's all my experience that I'm going to bring to people, you know, to bring people life to, to those ultimate joy by combining all of the, um, of the initiative in their life. I'm looking at their body. I'm looking at their mind. I'm looking at their spirit. I'm looking at their emotion. I'm looking at their relationship or work. Do you know, all of us are in this six category, six domain, a six initiative. We all strong at some some of them we're not weak in that everything but which one this is out of balance that's why we have to come be able to 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 know and 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 to be able to be aware of of this and we start to work on on that to be able to balance is this and i believe that without the balance of all these six initiatives our life will not reach joy our life will lead to this, this uncertainty and unbalance we have to be able to bring back the balance back into the state of, of, of our being and with the practice, you know, our health needs to be, our body needs to be healthy. You have to eat a good food, success, right? You have to exercise in a certain amount just to bring back the joy. And then you can do yoga, you can exercise, whatever you pick that is good for you. But we cannot be our balance in the healthy too, uh, uh, too much of the body too. We have to look at our mind. What do we do for our mind today to create that the feeling of joy? And also the spiritual side spirit. What do you do for your own spirit? How do you do it? You know, how to increase all of that? And what relationship, right? In any our mind, how about your relationship with yourself first? How you use relationship with yourself? And then reflect to how you relate to the others and also emotion part huge leaking energy and i want to teach people about that i don't think in the school we are teach people at all this is the first thing that we need to teach people about emotion about emotion is you playing the whole role of your office your co-worker your boss everything you deal with this is all about emotion behind especially women we do everything with emotion that's why, like, you know, you say that people are not success because they use emotion for everything. How can we contain in the healthy emotion that we need to learn? And also the work, how we can just use all this technique to work. Before you go to meeting, I will teach you the technique, how to just be, get into that state of coherence between your heart and your brain to work together for you. And you can just, like, getting downloading of the information, or you can be present to communicate with your coworker. You communicate, you're not speaking from your unrelevant um, emotion or of that. How can you be setting that stage for a few minutes before you go? How you can work 
what is the work, how to activate in the heart of your team by bringing your team together. So that is a power. When your team starts to schedule, what did the leader need to do? You have to know how to do all of this. And then, and then the legend, and yeah, and then that, that, that is about that being, being like, I think when, when we learn all of this, it's going to take time to understand about everything because everything is having the detail of it. That is the foundation that I want to teach people. And I know that I, I, I think when people learn about all of these things, you know, you can be successful, you can be happy, and then you can manage when you get out of one of of this initiative, you know how to. Absolutely. And I think that emotion, that's something we use. It doesn't matter where we are, really. It's We just use it every day in our life. Like right now I'm talking to you, I'm using my emotion. So it's it's something we use every day. And if we don't know how to control it, it's become a problem. It's become a yeah. problem, especially as business owners. So um, can I just give the very simple technique for everybody right now? Yes, so sure. Want, yeah, okay. So, so um, to deal with emotion, when you have the big emotion coming in, when or when you feel that anxiety, something, you know, just like you're gonna explode or something, you know, the, you know that how to pause before you say things, right? Right? You, we all heard about this. We need to pause before we saying something. We, we regret after, and I will teach you much effective, more effective than that. You pause. And then you just, just like, you can close eye or not close your eye, but because you can practice this before you use it in the real life. Let's imagine you by yourself at home, okay? You practice this. You have to practice to become your skill and then you can recall this skill anytime with eyes open. So let's pretend that right now we are in our own home. We're gonna pre, uh, practice this simple technique. It's gonna take you only two minutes, but it's so powerful if you're working with everything in your body your heart your brain and all your well-being it create the uh, parasympathetic nervous system working your nervous system changing the whole feeling of you and you create the the, the vital energy back into yourself by doing this few minutes ready mm -hmm. okay just a simple focus into the area of your heart or chest area. Right now, we practice, we're going to close eyes, okay? Your heart area is just right underneath your chest bone. When we practice, it's better that we press our hand here so we can make um, our connection better. And maybe we can press two hands because I like to do two hands because of that, it's going to open my chest and my shoulder just like sit down my back. I feel much more open and receive. And then we are just simply uh, gently close our eyes, just like we're about to fall asleep. You make the connection with your beautiful heart, just right underneath your, your, your hands. Mm -hmm. And then you start to breathe deeper and longer than you usual. Breathing deep, longer, inhale and exhale. We can do it together now. Deep breath, inhale for five seconds. And exhale for five seconds. And again, one more time. Deep breath, inhale for five. And exhale for five seconds. Let repeat that a few more times on your own. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And take the deep breath into your heart. And out from your heart. And let's feel what is that breathing into your heart affecting you. Yeah, now you can put your hand down and whenever you're ready, just open your eyes. Wow. It's really relaxing.
So this is called hard focus breathing. It's a, te- a technique from hard math. Very, very foundation technique. You know, it's very simple. But what you're working on is like you connect into your heart center, which should have more than 30,000 neurons. It's more than the brain. It's like a mini brain. You know, just send a signal into your heart. You know, sometimes as we feel like that, mm-hmm. you know, our heart ache, you know, this is a physical heart ache. Like we didn't make a contact enough. And mostly people like to close down their heart a little bit because to would you know, make that connection into your heart, create this, um, you know, vibration and, and, and energy. When the heart just get into the, into the state of, of connection, it's going to send signal into, right into your brain. And, and when the heart and the brain talking together, be in sync, is creating heart coherent and brain coherent. And when all your heart and brain in coherence, your whole body becomes in coherence. And th- we did this in very short time. We can do this up to 15 minutes. Just breathe into your heart. The first thing I do in the morning or all day, you know, when I have the feeling of that rushing to me, I just breathe into my heart. And trust me, it will change your life. Absolutely. And it, be able to handle your emotion, God knows. <laughs> we need that every day. So you created uh, you created and co-founded a program you teach in school. And uh, what is the Heiner Peace Life Education? What is it all about? Inner Peace Life Education is just teaching the student about um, the principle of discipline the principle of the of the mindfulness and the principle of clarity. You know, we teach uh, students in all uh, body, mind, and spirit and come together in terms of the inner peace life, how to have the inner peace life um, um, based on uh, all of this, you know, which is like um, part of major race is come from the teaching of the, of the Buddha talking about how to be disciplined. You know, discipline is, is the first first um, virtual that we, we, we need to adapt into our life. Without discipline, we not be able to have the inner peace because everything gonna get so busy and, and you can't reach into the level of success. How to have into the clarity mind, the practice of meditation. And the meditation is what is this about? It's is about to be mindful and yes, also be comfort, 50, 50%. Mindful by comfort, you know, just be relaxed. And then, but also, if we are too relaxed, we're going to fall asleep. Maybe be mindful at the same time. And let those mechanisms just taking us to be able to get into the wisdom part. So we teach um, this um, curriculum have been teaching in, in, um, in Asia, you know, like the student need to learn how to do all this to live life. That's, um, that is like a culture um, in, in Asia, when, you, when we lead in life to the peacefulness and just only the Western doesn't know about yet, much about that yet. So um, a lot of students, especially when they are teenager, you know, they, everything come out at them, family, school, um, get into college, so much stress. You know, when I teach, I ask my student who, who, who have the trouble sleeping last night. 98% or the whole class. And it just really, the first time it quite shocked me, you know, I, I feel so much compassion to them. And and by using all this technique, helping them to be able to, to become, be able to sleep well again. And because they carry so much, and especially in the world of the social media, right? It's not real anymore. People, people just only put, put the best, bad, bad look of them. And but sometimes for the teenager, they don't really have experience. They think that is real. And then they, they try to um, criticize about themselves. They're not good enough. They're not pretty enough. They're not be able to do anything. And they, and they instead of they using all of those pictures um, to be able to make themselves to go that direction, to look pretty the same, but they do pack that picture to compare that they are not good. But they don't know what is behind the people to make that picture is processing all the process of maybe 50, 100 pictures to get one good picture. I know I was in the modeling industry. You have to do, I have 10 people to 
makeup, hair stylist, um, photographer, and after uh, to to take care of of me at the end to look good. And after that, I have the post production. You know, all the pitch, all the post production taking away all the unperfect thing before we can get one good picture. It's a product, a production, huge production behind it. But people who don't understand all of this, they thought that that is real, that is reality, and they compare themselves. And and you know, for the adult, we have experience. But for this uh, young kid, they 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 don't have experience. They live, they grow up now in terms of di- digital already. They don't have experience like we do. So that's why, like learning about all of this to be able to be able to be love themselves, um, change their self image, self confident is so important. And that is how I teach them how to find their passion. To um, in their life to choose the career because of I was an entrepreneur so I be able to share that to them as well so our class is teaching all of that and use meditation as tools to make absolutely yeah do you regret changing the path for modeling to well to a wellness coach no I love I love everything that I, I that I that my experience with our modeling. You know that is huge part of me is is kind of my foundation. Right now, I have everything I have and confident to come out. I'm I'm very shy person too. Like it doesn't look like I'm shy, but I do shy. <laughs> I do shy really. I I'm not like I'm not just like okay. If I know you, I will speak to you uh, right away. But you know, I just I just very quiet first at first because maybe culture or something and then after that i can talk a lot but but it's that it's just to make me me doing everything i do i own it to to my modeling i own it to that every day i go out and then i feel that empowerment you know i feel that i become someone and that make me believe i can be anybody that i want to be any any person Absolutely. Any uh, any advice do you have for young entrepreneurs starting out? Uh, I want you. Um, I want you to create the high focus uh, business owner. You know why it's important? Because right now I advise with um, with a business group. I feel that everybody just got like burnt out. And they want to find a new career. They don't love what they do anymore. They do it for money. They do it for the wrong reason. They do it because of their friend tell them to do. Everybody, their mother tell them to do whatever. And then they just hate their job. They don't want to go to work anymore. But I think that there is a thing that we can find between heart and brain. You know, it's, I have the technique called heart and brain mapping. I found what is the what is the synergy between heart and brain. Sometimes our heart say one thing, our brain say the other thing. But to be able to build success, we have to find what is this two thing that in common, and find that. Be able to find that we can do anything. We want to wake up. We have to be like instinctive motivation. You know, you just want to wake up to do it, even if it doesn't pay you anything. It's just like like you wake up and you feel that passion that you that you want to do it. And that is so important for the entrepreneurs to, to have to pick the right job, to pick the right career, to pick the right business. You know, because sometimes, especially all the high achiever, we can do so many things. You know, what to choose? I have problem with that all the time because I can do many things. What is I can choose? I go to my heart. I go. What is it like I can do best? That is taking the process to recover that. When you find that, you know, that is the gems and you can stick with it. When you find the thing that your heart and your brain uh, are crystal, and you can just going to wake up every day and doing very good and you don't know where you're going to get energy coming from. And then after that, you'll be inspired to do every day. And other thing is you cannot be a dreamer. You have to understand the process. That's why intelligent coming in. When you do a good business, I was just like failing my business before I get into the, um, the uh, spa business. I was just bankrupt one time, so I know. I went into the real estate, it was 23, I didn't talk about, but I lose all my modeling money. And then I know that when I start my, my spa business, I write out everything, you know, my 
uh, projection, my plan, my concept paper, my the how of construction, my finance, what is going to be like, what's going to look like, how going to return. I know it doesn't really going to return that way because I return my money with a short end like I calculate then it's 18 months, but I got to return my investment in six months. But it gives you the roadmap. You have to know, right? I'm not, then I'm not good at financial. I hire the best people I could find to be my consultant. And I learn from them. I pay for that. I learn from my business advisor. I went to do the people who give me consultant how to build a spa. I learned about the the bone, what is it called? Like the, the brick and bone things, but I add my spin into it. And I create my own signature treatment. I couldn't so you have to know the rules of the business. You know, you have to know what is important, finance, you know, the how the money, how to money in, money out, how to create the that bottom line of the of the profit. And also marketing. Marketing is the key. Nobody really know you if you not market well. And, and you have to have all those light up for you. And when you have that both light up, and then you can add, the, that's just a, that is a kind of like the, the software program that you need to have, right? And then after that, right. you're adding your own spiritual, your own energy, your own intuition. And every day you're setting up yourself into the good state. Do the breathing as a tissue and then get into your own, own, own intelligence. When you know that you have so many advice, who you're gonna trust, you're gonna trust yourself. Get into that space and bring all those, the answer gonna come to you. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to even reply to it because everything you just said is something that I seen all the time. I seen people battle with these things and uh, it's amazing how you actually know how to do these things more where many of, Many, many, many people are um, fighting on how to actually even take the first step into it. So that, I think that's the reason why everything you have been learning, if you can share it with uh, the world and help them one person at a time, it will make a huge difference into this world. And I thank you for taking the time to be in with us. And I appreciate that or everything you are doing. Uh, it's just amazing. And uh, every time I talk to you, it's always like, wow she did that she did that it's, it's just <laughs> amazing and i really uh, enjoy talking to you and i appreciate you taking the time and giving me that opportunity to share your story everything you have been doing with uh with the world with the communities with the people that actually need to hear it thank you so much you know i appreciate you to to allow me to be in your space to allow me to be with your audience you know, who I, I know that like you've been cultivated, all of them, you've been handpicked them to become close to you. And I'm so thankful that you, that you allow me to be able to, sh to do my things and to your communities. And I really hope that I bring values into your communities. That was like my heart really want to go through that. And I hope that, you know, I can be able to help. I can be able to become like, you know, you can just like, send me the message you don't need to be my clients you just send me the message to us like you know just email me and so um, um i will do my best to answer your question and i will do my best to really bring out uh, all the knowledge that i have you know i do i should to do this job i'm not necessary to to do this i i i i choose to do this and i hope that i i can bring everything you know it's just my passion it's just close to my heart so thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a passion. <laughs> it's a passion. <laughs> Woman, emotion, passion. We still, you know, have to live on that. But, you know, I think I'm lucky and I'm being unfortunate. I, I be able to use my thing and I feel honored that, you know, I'd be right here to talk to you. And I feel so connected with you. I think that, you know, you understand me and, and I did understand you because, you know, we, we love to do this business. We love to make it happen. We love to feel that we are power. We can do this. And then I'm sure that if we be together, you know, I can show that we can tell all those women that you can do this. We just support each other. I will need your support too. Sometimes I feel my femininity kick into me. I, I, I cry too, you know, but I get up. I'm not crying too long. I come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Joy. You are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you are too. Thank you.
Wow, what a great conversation. Um, I enjoy listening to Joy uh, talking about meditation and, you, and learning it at a very young age. It, it's very interesting. And that is something most of us don't do at, 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 that, at that age. Learning about Joy's life is inspiring. It all started with one person taking an interest in her. That opened so many other doors, including her starting Zens of Joy Spa. In life, opportunities will come and go. Don't be afraid to take a chance because you will never know about what others does this opportunity will open for you. I'm glad to share Joy's story with you. She is a well-being specialist with a passion for meditation and wellness. If you need help, reach out to her on LinkedIn or Instagram. Thank you, Joy, for taking the time to have this conversation with me. And thank you for listening to this week's episode. Let me know your thoughts about this episode and what are you doing daily to take good care of your health. To learn more about Joy, visit www.intelligentbeautywithjoy.com. Thank you for listening to Female Founders Podcast. That's it for this week's episode. Be sure to follow us on your favorite podcast app or connect with us on warmel.com so that you don't miss our next episode. See you next time. Bye for now.